Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Wednesday the 14th of February. The local media headlines today. Devon and Cornwall Police are having to defend themselves against allegations of systemic misogyny. Seven women, including a former police officer, are threatening to take legal action against the police, claiming that reports of domestic violence are not taken seriously. The allegations have been referred to the Independent Office for Police Conduct. The male officers, who are the subject of the complaints, deny the claims. Truro City's footballers, now trying to play their home matches in Taunton, have got quite a logjam of fixtures in the weeks ahead. Meanwhile, plans for a new home ground at Langarth in Truro are due to come before Cornwall's planners tomorrow. It's going to be a real race against time to get anything ready for next season. The BBC has been following the progress of a controversial planning application for hundreds of homes in Bodmin. The Wayne Homes project has been on the cards for years. There are also hundreds of objectors. Pirate FM says the Cornish charity Shelterbox is raising money to help refugees in Gaza. The Cornish Times has a story about waste recycling. The Falmouth Packet promotes an appeal by the National Trust for volunteers. And finally, Cornwall Live says another TV celebrity has bought another big house. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye-bye.